Rick Mercer talking to Americans part one. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. Okay, it's finally happening. We are going to watch Rick Mercer talking to Americans. You guys have been throwing it in the suggestions on Discord and on YouTube for so long. Let's get into it. Really excited. But before we do, guys, please make sure to jump on, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so when I do videos and live streams, you'll know they're coming. Okay, let's get into it. Rick Mercer talking to Americans. Let's roll. Hello from Washington, D.C., or as they say on the hill behind me, the center of the center of the universe. <laughs> Everywhere you look in this town, there is no mistaking where you are. It is celebrated at every single turn. You are in America. America the strong, America the free, America our next door neighbor. Yeah. They are our greatest friends, our strongest allies. <laughs> they are kind, they are generous. They have an uncanny ability to go on at great lengths. <laughs> on subjects they know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time traveling in America, and I've spoken to many of its people, and I've come to a conclusion, and I have a confession to make. Oh, no. My name is Rick Mercer, and I love America. <laughs> and yes, this is... Talking to America! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Gotta go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm laughing already. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. We're at Mount Rushmore. I'd love to go here. It does look really cool. As and you're probably aware, it's been widely well. reported that the mining rights to Mount Rushmore is actually held by a Canadian company. Uh, <laughs> they say that they want to do preliminary explorations to see if there's any plutonium in the mountains. They want to do precision blasting in the off season, but some people are saying that's not acceptable. They should be forced to drill into the heads from behind. What do you think? <laughs> I think probably from the back. <laughs> I think from the back of the mountain. Why mess up? You know, this is a national monument. <laughs> Choose the course which has the least impact on the environment. And if that involves the precision blasting, which it should, I think that's probably okay. So do you think they should be forced, even though it's more expensive, to drill into the heads from behind? Yes. The Canadian government, after many, many years of asking and being turned down, has finally gotten permission from the U.S. government to build an exact replica of Mount Rushmore. And uh, there's also talk of adding, in a phase two, of three extra heads, Taft, Nixon, and Mulroney. What do you think of that? I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. No. No. Not uh, Taft, Nixon, or Mulroney? No. no. Not particularly Taft. I think FDR should be on there. Right. No. So would it, you wouldn't mind seeing Mulroney uh, no. added on? No. Do you think uh, Taft, Nixon, and Mulroney are not... Uh, Five examples of the best American presidents? I think there's others that show more American spirit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Didn't Nixon get impeached for the whole Watergate thing? <laughs> and the fact that they believe that Canadians can go in there, they have permission to drill into the back of their heads at Mount Rushmore, this national monument. <laughs> they actually believe that they can do it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You can't buy a Kinder Surprise egg in America, but that's okay. We'll let you drill in the back of the monument building at Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why have I waited so long to watch this? We're like two minutes into this video already. Part one, might I add, only part one, and I have peed my pants <laughs> numerous times already. <laughs> he must travel all through different parts in America. So we're at Mount Rushmore. Where else is he going to go, mate? This is absolutely hilarious. We're doing a story on a mountain in Canada that will be inspired by Mount Rushmore and it's going to have Canada's most famous Eskimo president on it and his name was Maruni Yuck. Congratulations. Canada on Mount Maruni Yuck. Maruni Yuck. Uh. Congratulations Canada on Mount Maruni Yuck. Mount Maruni Yuck. Hello, Hello Canada. Canada. 
our Eskimo, Eskimo neighbors, neighbors, neighbors to, to the, the south. <gasps> so uh, if Reagan is on the mountain, do you think Reagan is okay? Yeah? They're gonna put him yeah. yeah, he, yeah. he was a president. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They all had their faults, and he was yeah. one of them. So. Yeah. And if uh, Reagan's on the mountain, should they have Mulroney's feet sticking out of the backside? <laughs> Didn't Reagan get shot in the bum? <laughs> okay, oh, here we go. New York City. The city that never sleeps. Have a go at this city, would you? It looks incredible. But my gosh. Do you gosh. think that uh, America should be bombing Bouchard? Yes. Should uh, uh, NATO be bombing Bouchard? Yeah. Do you think uh, America should be bombing Bouchard? Yes. 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 Do you think that the United States should just stand by and allow Canada to ignore the U.S. Constitution and everything that great document stands for? No, I don't think so. No? No. no. Congratulations, Canada, for legalizing insulin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And do you think that uh, America should... Uh, attempt to uh, free Nelson Mandela? Yes. Do you think uh, America should uh, line up its ground troops and send them into Gilles Duceppe? I think they should line up the ground troops, yes. And send them into Gilles Duceppe? Yes. <laughs> Do you think that America should be bombing Saskatchewan? Absolutely. Absolutely? Yeah. Uh, what about ground forces? Do you think ground forces should be sent into Saskatchewan? That might be safer? That's what they're going to have to do. That's what they're going to have to do. Bomb Saskatchewan. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Right, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! Do you think Americans should bomb Saskatchewan? Yes, yes they should. Absolutely. Do you think Americans should send ground troops into Saskatchewan? Yes, if that's what's required. <laughs> they have no idea where Saskatchewan is. It's in Canada. You guys want to go invade in Canada just because some guy says, do you think that you should? <laughs> Here's a question for you. Do you think that they believe that Rick Mercer is American? <laughs> Oh my gosh, if you ask an American, should they go in and invade any part of the world that's not America, they're going to say, yes, yes, you should. <laughs> oh my golly gosh. Oh, let's keep on going. This is absolutely hilarious. Oh. Have a good day. All right. Congratulations, Canada, for getting a McDonald's. Congratulations, <laughs> Canada. 800 miles of paved road. How about uh, ground troops lining up and entering Gilles Duceppe? How do you feel about that? Mm, got to do what you got to do. If we're going to get in, it might as well get in all the way. Oh, yeah. do you think Gilles Duceppe could withstand the pounding? Not much longer. <laughs> okay. Just read it to yourself, and then if, if you want to... <laughs> yeah. To the right honorable Paul Martin Jr., Prime Minister in Waiting. I'm not sure how to say that. How do you say that? Tet. Tet. Du Mer. Du Mer. Tet. Tet du Mer. Tet du Mer. Tet du Mer. Excellent. Tet du Mer, Ottawa, Canada. Given that 2001 has been declared the year of the senior citizen, we demand that the government of Canada discourage the Canadian tradition of placing senior citizens on northern ice flows and leaving them to perish. Yeah, I, I'll <laughs> sign that. So what are you studying again? History. Right, very good. Uh, I definitely believe that uh, senior citizens shouldn't be placed on ice flows. And you're a prop here? Yeah. <laughs> How many years? Nine. You like it? Yeah, it's good. Good school? Yeah. <laughs> We're doing so a story believe on Canada uh, the does Russian that. invasion of uh, okay. Chechnya and Saskatchewan, and the uh, Russians keep invading that area. And they we're wondering whether peacekeepers should be sent into uh, Saskatchewan to protect the civilians. I think so, definitely. I think peacekeeping is number one priority for international relations. Do you feel bad for the people in Chechnya and Saskatchewan? Yes. <laughs> and uh, you're studying Russian? I'm studying Russian. Do you find out that there's not enough coverage on the news about the uh, Russian in invasion into uh, Saskatchewan? Uh, I, well, I haven't actually heard about the Saskatchewan invasion. <laughs> I've only heard about Chechnya, actually. So there's not enough coverage about there Saskatchewan. There is no Saskatchewan invasion. discourage the Canadian tradition of placing senior citizens on northern ice floors, leaving them to perish. <laughs>
taken me so long to watch this. I think I'm going to have to go and take a pee and then we'll come back. <laughs> I really have to get more into this. But before we do, I've got to go for a pee break. 11 minutes later. Okay, I'm back. Let's roll. All right. We're doing a story on uh, your state capitol building here, and it's a downscale replica of the capitol building in Washington, D.C. Yeah. And our capitol building in Canada is actually a downscale, cap downscale model of your capitol building. No, it's building, not. Except it's it made out of ice. It's an igloo, you see. And we're, we're, we're worried about global warming and the fact that it might uh, melt, so we're putting a dome over it. Oh. But in order to pay for it, we have to attract tourists. Would you be interested in visiting the uh, Canada's National Igloo? Absolutely. Yeah? Sure. Congratulations, Canada, on preserving your igloo. Congratulations, Canada, on preserving your National Igloo. Yes, indeed. Well, congratulations, Canada, on becoming part of North America. Thank you very much. As of the year 2000, we'll be part of North America. Do you think that's a good idea? I don't know. Would you pay money to visit Canada's National Igloo? I don't plan on ever going up there. No. No? No. no. I never heard of a building made out of ice anyway. You never heard of an igloo? Well, yeah, but not a scalpel. Well, it's Canada. <laughs> Sounds right. It's part of the new millennium. One of the things we're doing is going to get a new currency. We want to call it the Canadian dollar, but the U.S. Treasury says that they own the name dollar for their currency, just like in Britain it's called the pound, in America it's called oh, no. the dollar. We want to call our, ours the dollar, but they don't want us to call it the dollar. They want us to call it the loony. <laughs> What do you think of that? He's got no idea, mate. As part of the Millennium Celebrations in Canada, the King of Canada will be doing a tour of the United States and be visiting Arkansas. His name is King Lucien Bonhomme. King Lucien Bonhomme, welcome to Arkansas. Look, it has a moon on it. <laughs> this poor guy's got no Who's idea. Who's the governor of Arkansas now? Uh, this is Mike Huckabee. Mike Huckabee. Mike Huckabee. Does he have an education at all, or...? Oh, yes, he, he's, uh, he's a college graduate. I think yeah. he is edu college educated, though, at least. There you go, yeah. He seems like an intelligent guy. Yes, he does. Do you think he would know much about, say, Canada-U.S. relations, anything like, or anything about Canada? I would think so. I would hope so. <laughs> you would think so. You would hope so. <laughs> I recently did a video. Um, I recently did a video, and Dave Thomas, his name, sorry, I recently just did a video and Dave Thomas was talking about why Canadians are funny. He summed up Americans perfectly. He called them American centric. They all focused around America. So I'm not quite too sure how much these people actually know about any other country outside of America. I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> Here's the governor. Hi, I'm Governor Mike Huckabee of Arkansas, wanting to say congratulations, Canada, on preserving your national igloo. Thank you, Governor. Thanks for being part of 20 minutes. Thank you. The most watched news team in Canada. No Thanks way. He didn't believe that. Oh, Canada, oh, no. we are on top. We're close to the North Pole. <laughs> The governor of Arkansas Manitoba barely could believe Dutch. that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look. That's hilarious. Look starving. Yeah, look and starving for your cup of coffee. Yeah, I saw oh. it in, in Manitoba because they only speak Dutch and all the signs have to be in Dutch. If you want to open a Starbucks here, your sign has to say look and starving. Yeah, you can put Starbucks under it, but it has to be smaller. But it has to be smaller. He's a troublemaker, Rick Mercer. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Okay. We're in San Francisco now, eh? That was Alcatraz, yep. San Francisco, California. You know, when Canadians travel abroad, some things precede them. Our maple leaf, our commitment to peacekeeping, and of course, our national anthem, O Canada. <laughs> it is known, it is loved, yeah. it is respected. It's it cool, is mate. seared in the psyche of all Americans. <laughs> o Canada, a great big empty land. We're close 
to the North Pole. <laughs> Basically, he just went to San Francisco and got people to sing what they thought were the words of the Canadian national anthem. <laughs> Wasn't, but you know, who were they to know, mate? I don't know the words of many other national anthems outside the Australian one. Of course, we all know the Star Spangled Banner bits and pieces from what we see on movies. Mate, I've been doing this channel for over a year now, and unfortunately, I wouldn't know the words to O Canada either. All right, it looks like we're on the way to Chicago. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to say it. Chicago would be the one city in America that I would like to go to. All right, let's go. Well, we're doing a story on the fact that in Canada, there's a motion in the Canadian government to actually change the name of Canada to Chicago. Because as you probably know, uh, Chicago is a native term. It means uh, uh, the land where root vegetables grow. That accurately describes Canada as a nation. We're wondering what uh, people in Chicago think of that idea. Why would they want to take the name of Chicago? That belongs to us. That belongs to that us. Um, awkward. No, they can't take our name. It's our name. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, yeah. Great, that I'd be honored, man. <laughs> I'd yeah. it all party. So you don't like the idea? <laughs> no, I certainly do not. Congratulations, Canada, on getting FM radio. Now, the president of the United States says he's sending in 600 troops into uh, East Timor, and if that doesn't do the trick, then he may be forced to bomb the mall in West Edmonton. Bomb who? The West Edmonton. They could bomb East Timor and West Edmonton. Do you think that's a possibility? Um, yeah, I mean, it could be a possibility. He's going to be forced to bomb the mall in West Edmonton. Do you support that? No! Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh! Yes. Congratulations, Congratulations, Canada, on getting a volunteer fire station. Oh! Congratulations, Canada, on getting grade nine. Oh! oh, my gosh! Mate, if you say, does America need to go and bomb any place outside of America? And they agree to it. West Edmonton. It's a mall! <laughs> and back then, when this was recorded, it would have had that roller coaster and everything. Oh my god! They want to go in and block the West Edmonton Mall and that cool roller coaster! <laughs> Don't you love the little bits where, you know, congratulations, Canada, for getting your first McDonald's. <laughs> congratulations, Canada, for getting FM radio. <laughs> Okay, guys, we have a couple more minutes to go. This is absolutely hilarious. I'm really sorry it's taken me so long to cover this, but yeah, all right, let's go. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> I've had too many pee breaks already. <laughs> We're doing a story on the fact that in Canada, as in the United States, of course, there are four seasons, but all across Canada, many people believe that none of the four seasons accurately describe the two months of darkness that all of Canada experiences in July and August. So there's now a movement to, to actually have a fifth season in Canada. And, uh, and we have three names. The Slumber, the Equinox, or the Canada. Canada. You like Canada? Yeah. Canada. You like Canada? I think Canadark's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Canada definitely. Yeah. yeah, make it three on Canada. Yeah. Canada. Canada. <laughs> There's four for the Canada. There. How about just calling them the Montreal Canadians? That's pretty dark. Uh, oh! It's a meatball made out of beaver. It's, they're called beaver balls. And that's our new national dish. You don't like beaver balls? I've never had one, but I... Oh, well, there you go. Once you have one, you can't stop. Yeah. Congratulations, Canada for making beaver balls your national dish. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> Congratulations, Canada, on making beaver balls your national dish. <laughs> no, 
Absolutely not. It's poutine, which I'm yet to try. I've had your national drink, the Caesar. You guys seen me make the Caesar. Great video. If you haven't seen it, guys, check it out. Okay, it looks like we've got one more city to visit in this video. Let's go. Oh, Harvard. Okay. The most famous Rick university in the world. At Harvard University, where the great minds and the future leaders of a generation gather in the spirit of knowledge and wisdom which permeates this campus. Mm -hmm. Are you a student here at Harvard? Yes, I am. What are you studying? I'm studying biological anthropology. Biological wow. anthropology. We're doing a student reaction to the fact that the Canadian government has announced that they're going to uh, resume the seal slaughter in Saskatchewan. What do you think of that? <gasps> oh, I think that's ridiculous. I don't no. think there's any point in murdering seals. Are you a student here at Harvard? Yes, I am. And what are you studying? Biology. Well, that's good. This is kind of a biological okay, question. Okay, yeah. We're down here getting students' reaction to the fact that the Canadian government has decided to resume the Calgary seal hunt. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Um, I'm against it. Actually, I'm interested in conservation biology. Well, what there about you go, the fishermen yeah. in Saskatchewan say you can't catch a codfish, and that's because the seals are eating all the God. Yeah, well, uh, I guess they'll have to start fishing for something else. Yeah. Well, if they don't resume the seal hunt in Calgary, what they're hoping <laughs> would happen is that tourists could visit Calgary and get on a boat with the fishermen and go out to the ice flows and see the... Oh, okay, well, that just wrapped up like that, didn't it? At Harvard University, the most famous university in the world. He didn't really stop them there, did he? They were like, oh, no, you can't do that. But they were studying biology and stuff like that, but yeah... They weren't down with seal slaughtering, Rick. That was not good. <laughs> okay, guys, that was the video. That was part one of the video. Absolutely hilarious. There's still two more parts to go. I cannot wait to watch them more. If you liked the video, guys, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and, of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers from down under. Take care. Bye.